right now we got, I pulled up on Nick Briggs and this is a freak of, you know, his little YouTube channel or whatever. Well, I say little YouTube channel. This nigga is, is up there, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I'm a fan of this nigga videos, you know what I'm saying? Like, I enjoy reacting to basketball or sports videos more than I react to, uh, I enjoy that more than I react to music. It just, it's just more entertainment, I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Um... This, this nigga be crunk, bro. Straight up, he, he be pulling up by himself. You know what I'm saying? As far as the ones who's going to participate in the, uh, you're hooping alongside with him. Sometimes he have his little homeboy and the nigga got the little uh, mohawk or whatever. But usually he just be by himself. He just be hooping. You know what I'm saying? That nigga cold, bro. Straight up. You know how his body type is. It's just how he look. You know what I'm saying? On the outside. If you ain't never seen him hoop before, you probably think like, he ain't that good. But shit, he'll get the bust in your ass. And this nigga got a textbook jump shot, bro. And I wrote another list of some names. I don't even know how to. The only one I know how to uh, pronounce is Young Chark and Famous Empire. But the first two, I don't know how to pronounce that shit. So if you see your name, you see your name. And um, this is just for the people that I feel like they comment stood out or they be commenting like consistently, uh, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the case may be. Or they might got, they might got a lot of likes on that, uh, on that comment. So that's just how it is, you know. I appreciate y'all for tuning in, and if you subscribe, you do, you do what you gonna do, shit, I can't, you know what I'm saying, I can't control you, so, let's go ahead and get into this shit, cause this shit finna be long as fuck, this shit finna be crumb, bro, I'm trying to tell you. After this Damn! <laughs> That nigga be talking shit, bro. I promise you, that white boy be talking shit, bro. I actually want somebody to swing on his ass. I want to see how that nigga swing, but um, but I ain't, you know, I ain't got no bad blood between this shit. This shit entertaining to me, but shit, that that nigga can do everything but shoot that motherfucker. He got even though he left handed, he got an ugly ass jump shot. That shit funny. After this happened, I instantly thought about doing a rematch with my five and his five. And everything was set up for September 25th. And if you don't live under a rock, I'm sure you heard everything that went down with the average squad. I'm the savage squad. All jokes aside, I try my hardest to just hate my competition, but only on the court. I just feel like it like makes me play better. I don't know Chris or Nick or Carlos or Chauncey or how they live their lives off of YouTube. So in my eyes, what kind of man would I be if I judged somebody based off of the internet character that I see. But that's besides the point. After I heard about all the stuff that happened with Chris and Nick, kind of just wanted to exclude myself entirely from that run that might've happened on the 25th. And I told them both that right now is not the best time. But here's the story and the context that you guys need to know before watching this video. I was flown out to Austin, Texas by Red Bull with my brother for the Formula One race. I didn't even pack my shoes. Your own convenience. And by the way, if you haven't heard of DraftKings, it's happening. This is right when you log in. You can actually. Hey, Monte. Hey, what do you know? Tell me, lucky is not the game, right? Wait, what do you want? Why your boy can't score on me, Devontae? Because you're just scratching me. And I'm scoring you the first possession. Hey, I took the ball. Hey, go get your shoes. I took the ball. Where's the ball? Where's the ball? Where's the ball? Where's the Looking for a website builder that's just right? Somebody gave me some shoes. I came out here for this Formula One race with Red Bull. You need to plan on it. Man, that shit, bro. It's like that nigga just be running to the basket like every time. Like that shit be crazy. The hell are you doing?
Oh, they ain't keeping score with this game. He got that shooter's touch on his head, on his head.
Man, that nigga friggin' eat him. Boy, they out there clowning. And they out there clowning. Oh. Well, they can't finish nothing, bro. Oh, that's that nigga from uh from the Drew League and shit. Who got that attitude? That nigga always be trying to fight somebody. Oh, he fucking with him. Ooh, Carlos always fucking with somebody, man. excited as I thought it was going to be. That's who, that's who they all need to be getting the ball to, fam. Hey, nah, he got a nice little looking jump shot, though. Bro, he be hitting that sh Bro, what? That shit, they should have been getting this nigga the ball, bro. He gonna take he gonna take you to the promised land every time. He gonna take you to the promised land. Man, I don't wanna see that nigga, bro. He gonna take you to the promised land, bro. I'm telling you. Man, look at this, bro. After this though. Look at it, look at it, bro. understand how disrespectful this is right here you know what I'm saying this is what I was, this is what I was waiting for them to, them to guard each other this is what I've been waiting on Dribble. I don't think I understand how difficult that is. A two dribble pull up on the right hand side because he's right handed. You know, for right handers, it'd be comfortable to a dribble pull up off for the left hand. Man, that nigga is a bucket, bro. Hey, man. That nigga is a bucket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had to, he had to quit it after that. But shit, if you like the video, man, I like the video. Comment, subscribe, all that good shit. I appreciate y'all for tuning in, bro. I'm out of here.